On December 29, 1992, James and Jennifer Stolper left their home in California to attend a funeral in Idaho, taking with them a newborn child. Due to severe snowstorms, the road they intended to take had been closed for safety reasons, and instead of going back, they decided to take a small country road that looked like it went in the right direction. At the point in northern Washoe country, after driving for many miles, their car got stuck in a huge snowbank that had built up on the road, and the Stolpas had no choice but to hide in their car for the night. Since this was in 1992, it's reasonable to forgive them for not having mobile phones, and GPS equipment at this time wasn't really a thing so they had no way of calling for help and because of the detour no one knew were there fortunately they had packed a good amount of food including some corn chips and fruit cake and so thought the best thing to do would be to wait for someone to come along after four nights waiting in the car they realized it could be weeks before someone came down such a heavily snorting road and so set out on foot looking for help before they left, they were sensible enough to take all their food and a few choice items, namely a sleeping bag and a means to start a fire. As soon as they set out, they were faced with waist-deep snow and freezing winds, and after 12 miles of walking, the family had completely lost the road and were in the wilderness. They decided to turn around and walked for close to 30 hours until Jennifer was too exhausted to walk anymore. They managed to find a shallow cave in the rocks which was covered by a bush and provided the best protection from the wind they were going to set. The next morning Jim decided he had no choice but to keep walking until he found help. Jennifer remained in the cave with the children while he walked through thick snow and savage winds trying to find a single person who could help. Stay away! Shut up! Stay away! Jen? J Jen? You're alive, Jen. Clay? Je Jen, you're alive! <laughs> he walked for over 30 miles until he came across the home of David Peterson, who worked as a Washoe Country Road maintenance worker. James was in pretty bad shape when he finally found help, and he was suffering from frostbite and exhaustion, but still managed to describe the landmarks and wrote back to his family in great detail. David Peterson called for help and jumped into his own front end loader. Rescue teams followed slowly in snow cats while he went ahead looking for the cave and Jim's family. The rescue party found the cave soon enough. There was no food or water left, but all were very much alive. They were taken to hospital, and the child escaped without a single problem. Jim and Jen weren't so lucky though, as they both lost several of their toes to frostbite. The Stolpa family's experience has been made into a film called Snowbound, the Jim and Jennifer Stolpa story, and in one of their episodes, I shouldn't be alive. <laughs>